Yankee gang, cool shit, bitch. Uh, I ain't got a question for you, bitch. What you want? Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have got a super glam, super bad and bougie look that I wanna uh, teach you guys. Am I teaching it? At least I sort of winged it. So um, this is what came out and it's super glam. And um, to me this is bad and bougie. So if you're going out, you know, to the club, you know, this weekend or you know, a date, or you know what, a picnic, um rock this because why not um it's super pigmented um i'm using a whole lot of pigments a whole lot of um body glitter or glitter on the lids and then um some super bomb lashes that i tried out for the first time and yeah so hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and i will see you next time bye so I'm filling in my brows with the Dolce & Gabbana um, Perfect Mono Cream Eye Color. I think this is an eyeshadow but I've been using it for my brows and I really love it. So I'm just taking my angle brush and dipping it in sword. So now I'm going to define my brows with the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC45. I'm using the MAC 212 brush, flat definer brush. Dolce & Gabbana Sheer Radiance Makeup Base. Y'all know why I love this. But obviously if you're going to do a bougie look, you're probably going out at night. So you do not really going to use it for the SPF. I'm not a big primer person, like the silicone based primers and all of that. I prefer like moisturizing sort of lotions or a moisturizing primer if it does actually make the makeup last a bit longer than bonus. But I don't get the hype for primers. But either way, I do use this one there's no flashback in this you would assume that there is but there's not obviously because you probably would put foundation on top of it if there is any chance of there being any flashback but as you can see it blends into my skin I'm gonna start off prep priming my lids and I'm using the max soft ochre paint pot shaded turns time slows and still we I'm just gonna go ahead and set that with a cream colored shadow. I'm using the Switch Beauty eyeshadow brush. So we're gonna go in with the transition color and obviously I'm using my fave Extra Bitter from the Naked Basics, Naked Ultimate Basics palette. And I'm taking this tapered blending brush I'm going in with lethal which is this burgundy sort of shade here and I'm putting this on the crease then I'm taking an angled blending brush this one is from switch beauty and I'm just blending that out With that blended, I'm going back in with my NC45 Studio Finish Concealer and a flat concealer brush. I'm carving out my crease. So, while I look 
bit crazy. I, I'm going to be using this MAC pigment from MAC. Duh. And this is called Blue Brown. This is so delicious. So delicious. We're taking this uh, Inglot Body Sparkles Body Glitter. I'm taking my Inglot Gel Liner in 77. are from Ubu. We're using Dior Lash Glue. So while the lashes are getting dry or getting tacky with glue, I'm gonna apply mascara using my Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know what mascara this is called, but... Fires burn like the one you like within me took forever so I'm using a new foundation and this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Hydration Foundation 15 hour wear I've seen so many um, bloggers in the States uh, talking about this and using it so I thought I would cop it I got the shade 4.05 I've worn it once before and I really really like it I really really love it comfortable wear it is an oil free foundation as well which is the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer. Concealer, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stain Floor What? Stain Place Flawless, um, which is brighter. But when I combine these two together, I absolutely love the result. Now I'm taking my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in espresso. Now I'm setting my concealer with the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. And I'm using a damp beauty blender to set that. And I'm setting my cream contour with the Smashbox Deep Contour Kit and I'm using chocolate color that's called deep contour I'm taking real techniques contour brush and going in, in again with deep contour next I'm going in with MAC raisin and my urban decay optical blurring blur brush like the one you like within me. 
And I'm taking my Real Techniques sitting brush and dusting away this. Fade and wash and two. Highlighter, I'm using the MAC Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish and my Inglot for SS brush. Still weak. Underneath our eyes, we're going back in with the Naked Basics palette. Going in with this burgundy shade. Um, MAC Graph Black Technical Liner. But in the corners, we're going to go in with the glitter that we used. For my bottom lashes, I'm using the Dolce & Gabbana Mascara. I'm lining my lips with MAC Chestnut. Then for lips, I'm going in with Tom Ford in Sable Smoke. I'm obsessed with this lipstick, you guys. Finish off with gloss, which is the Revlon HD Lip Lacquer in Smoky Topaz. I think I need glasses, guys, because I'm struggling to read things these days. I'm setting my face with some Fix Plus. Please tell me, tell me why you hate me. Damn, why you hate me? I mean, I really wanna know why you be hating. Tell me why you hate me. Is it because my bitch look like some nightmare? Damn, tell me why you hate me. 